you. Tonight, new insight into the crime crisis involving young people in the district. There has been an alarming increase in the number of teens involved in shootings and homicides in D.C. But our Katie Barlow reports there is much more to this story. She's live in Northwest for us tonight. Katie. Well, Kenneth, although there has been an increase, an extraordinary increase in juvenile involvement in both shootings and homicides, juveniles still constitute a small portion of overall shootings in the district. That's according to a new report from the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council. But the report also notes that over a quarter of suspects arrested for non-fatal shootings are kids, and that number has gone up. We think a lot of things need to change. We think, for example, that we need to have greater prosecution of juveniles. Um, we have seen our kids become more violent at younger ages and have less accountability. D.C.'s Attorney General Brian Schwab is responsible for prosecuting juveniles. Schwab's team pushed back on the mayor today, saying they prosecute 85 percent of gun possession cases involving a minor and 65 percent of carjacking cases. A spokesperson said finger pointing and playing the blame game will not improve public safety, but also points out that there needs to be a focus on prevention before prosecution becomes necessary. Now, the report also suggests that juveniles may be overrepresented in those non-fatal shooting stats both because fewer suspects are identified in non-fatal shooting cases as opposed to homicide and because juveniles make for less sophisticated criminals, perhaps more likely to get caught. Guys.